Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about what is the purpose of loop and what are the various types of loops the PLSQ will support such as basic loop, for loop and while loop. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Till now we have discussed about the conditional statement. In conditional statements you have if then else and end if. In that one you will have a certain condition. If the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed once. If the condition is false the statements which are there in the else block will be executed once. But let's consider that you have a situation where you want to execute a block of statements more than once then you can use the loop so loop is useful for you to execute certain block of statements more than once the plsql supports three types of loops such as basic loop for loop and while loop first let me discuss about the basic loop and remember one important point every loop will have three sections one is initialization and then you will have the condition and then you will have the iteration. What is the purpose of the initialization statement? Because any loop you should provide when the loop should start and when the loop should terminate and what is the step value you need to increment. Suppose let's consider that you want to print the i value from 0 to 10. Then in that case your initialization or your start should start from 0 and it should go up to the 10. Once the i value is greater than 10, you need to stop the execution of the loop. And what is the iteration? After printing 0, you need to print 1. After that, you need to print 2. So, you need to increment the value of i by 1. So, your iteration will be increment statement. So, any loop will have these three sessions. One is the initialization, specifies the start of the loop, condition which specifies the termination condition and the iteration will tell you the step value. Now we will discuss about the syntax of basic loop. You will have the loop statement and then what are the statements you want to execute you will provide here and then you will have the iteration statement either it can be an increment or a decrement statement and then you can provide the condition by using the exit and when and then you will specify the condition end with a semicolon and then you will write the end loop statement end with a semicolon. So, this is the syntax of basic loop statement. Now, let me discuss a simple program to print the i values from 1 to 5 using the basic loop in PLSQL. So, let me open the PLSQL and I have written a statement called set server output on. I hope you know this purpose of this statement. This statement is useful for you to display the output in the PLSQL program. Now I need to declare a variable. So I have written the declare statement and I am declaring the variable called i of number type and the size is 2. And then I am writing the begin statement and then I am assigning the value 1 to the variable called i. So, I am writing the assignment statement and then I am writing the loop and let me write the statements which I want to execute inside the loop. So, I want to display the i value. So, I am writing dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then I can write the i value in single quotes I need to write ok. Let me write the single quotes and then I will write the i value is and then I will provide the concatenation and the value which is there in the variable i should to be displayed. After that what I need to do I need to increment the i value. So, I need to write i assignment operator i plus 1. So, whatever the i value is there it will be incremented and then it will be assigned to the variable i. Then I will write the exit statement and then when this uh, loop should terminate that condition I need to provide. If i is greater than 5 I should terminate this loop. So, uh, that condition I am writing here and then I will write end loop statement and then I will write end semicolon and then backslash. 
now you can see we got the output as the i value is 1 i value is 2 i value is 3 i value is 4 i value is 5 let me explain this program by opening the program in the notepad now you can see we have a declare statement to declare the variable called i and then i have assigned the i value to the 1 so initially the i value is 1 then you have the loop statement so what are the statements are there inside the loop you are printing the i value so the i value is initially what one so the one will be displayed after that what you are doing you are incrementing the i value so you are writing i is equal to okay i is equal to i plus one okay and then what is the value is there in the variable i one so one plus one means two so i value will become two and then you are writing the condition what is this exit condition i should be greater than five what is the i value two is two is greater than five no the condition is false if the exit condition is false then the statements which are there in the loop will be again executed so again you are printing the i value now what is the i value two so two will be displayed as an output okay after printing one you are printing the 2 then you are incrementing the i value i plus 1 what is the current i value 2 so 2 plus 1 will be 3 so i value will be 3 then you are verifying the exit condition i should be greater than 5 what is the i value 3 3 is greater than 5 no the condition is false so again the statements which are there in the loop will be executed so we are printing the i value as 3 and then i value are incrementing so i value will become 4 then again the exit condition is false because 4 is not greater than 5 so the exit condition is false so again the statements which are there in the loop will be executed you are printing the i value which is 4 then 4 plus 1 is 5 so i value will become 5 again 5 is greater than 5 no the 5 is equal to 5 so again the condition is false so again it will print the i value now the i value will be incremented currently the i value is 5 so 5 plus 1 will be 6 so the new i value will be 6 then you are verifying the exit condition i is greater than 5 6 is greater than 5 the condition is true because 6 is greater than 5 as the exit condition is true then the program will exit from the loop then then you are writing that end loop so it is coming out from the loop and then you are writing the end statement so the program will be terminating and you are getting the output as 1 2 3 4 5 i hope it is clear for you now let me discuss about the while loop by clicking the clear screen and then let me write set server output on end with the semicolon the syntax of the while loop is you will have while keyword let me discuss the syntax of the while loop here while loop as i said earlier every loop will have the initialization condition and then iteration so first you will have the initialization here so you will write the initialization and then you will use the while keyword and then whatever the condition you want to write you will mention here and then you will write the loop statement and then what are the statements you want to execute you will specify here and then finally i will provide the iteration so first what it will do first it will go for the initialization then it will verify the condition if the condition is true the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed after executing the statements which are there in the while loop then again it will verify the condition again if the condition is true the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed again it will verify the condition then again the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed if the condition is true if the condition is false then the statements which are there in the while loop will not be executed so what i will do is that i will write a plsql program using the while loop to print the numbers from 1 to 3 so what i will do i will declare a variable called i which is of number and the size is 2 end with the semicolon then i will write the begin section and in the begin i will initialize the i value to 
1 end with the semicolon then I will write the while keyword and then I will write the condition as i is less than or equal to 3 and then I will write the loop statement and then what are the statements I want to execute if the while condition is true that I will specify here. So, I want to display the i value. So, that is why I am writing dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then I will write the i value is in the single quotes end it and then you can use the concatenation and print the value which is there in the variable i then you can increment the i value by writing the statement as i assignment operator i plus 1 end with the semicolon then you can write end loop and then write the end and then provide the access. Now, you can see we got the output as i value is 1, i value is 2 and i value is 3. Now, let me discuss this program by opening it in notepad. Now, you can see we have declared the variable called i and we have initialized the i value to 1 then you are verifying the condition. What is the condition? i should be less than or equal to 3. Okay, what is the i value currently? i value is 1. Is 1 is less than or equal to 3? Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed. What is the statement? You are printing the i value. What is the i value? 1. 1 will be displayed as an output. Then what you are doing? You are incrementing the i value. So, you have written statement called i plus 1. Currently, i value is 1. So, 1 plus 1, i value will become 2. And then, once you have completed executing the statements in the while loop, again you will verify the condition. What is the condition? i should be less than or equal to 3. What is the i value 2? 2 is less than or equal to 3? Yes, the condition is true. As the while condition is again true, the statements which are there in the while loop will be again executed. So, you are printing the i value which is 2 and then you are incrementing the i value. Currently, i value is 2. So, 2 plus 1, i value will become 3 and then you will verify the condition i should be less than or equal to 3. What is the i value 3? 3. 3 is less than 3? No. But 3 is equal to 3 because you are using less than or equal to 3. If it is less than or equal, then the condition is 3. So, 3 is equal to 3. So, the condition is true. So, the statements which are there in the while loop will be again executed. The i value is, what is the i value? 3. 3 will be displayed. Then you are incrementing the i value. Currently, i value is 3. So, 3 plus 1, i value will become 4. Then again, you will verify the condition i less than or equal to 3. What is the i value 4? 4 is less than 3? No. Is 4 is equal to 3? No. So, the condition is false. Whenever the condition is false in the while loop, the statements which are there in the while loop will not be executed. After the while loop, whatever the statement is there, that will be executed. As there is no more statements, the program will terminate and it will display the output as 1, 2, 3. Now, we will discuss about the syntax of for loop in PLSQL. The syntax is you will write for keyword and then you will write the variable name and then you will use the in operator and then you will provide the initialization and then you will provide the termination condition after providing the two dots and then you will write the loop. So, for loop we should start from 1 and it should go up to the 10 and what are the statements you want to execute? You will provide executing here. So, you no need to provide the iteration here. By default, the iteration is i is equal to i plus 1 and finally, you can write end loop. Then you can ask me, sir, if I want to print the numbers in the reverse, instead of 1 to 10, I want to print from 10 to 1. Then you can write for variable in reverse then you can write 1 dot dot 10 loop and what are the statements you want to provide you can provide those statements and then at the end you can write the end loop end with a semicolon this time what it will do is that it will print the numbers from 
10 to 1 so that is the use of this reverse keyword if you simply write 1 to 10 it will print from 1 to 10 if you write reverse 1 to 10 means it will print from 10 to 1 now let me discuss this program practically in SQL plus so I will write begin simply because I don't want to declare a variable let me declare a variable okay what is the problem okay so I will write declare I'll write declare and then I will declare a variable called I and the data type is number of size to end with a semicolon then I will write the begin statement and then I will write for I in one dot dot 10 then I will write loop and then I will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then I will write the i value is provide the concatenation and print the value which is there in the variable called i and then I will write the end loop if you want to display something you can display here dbms underscore output dot put underscore line the for loop in plsql end with semicolon then provide the end end with semicolon as such now you can see we got the output as i value is from 1 to 10 now I want to display this numbers in the reverse order so let me write set server output on end with the semicolon then I will write declare and let me declare a variable called i of a number of size to end with the semicolon then let me provide the begin statement and I will write for i in a reverse and then I will print from 5 to 0 so I will write 0 dot dot and then I will write 5 and then I will write the loop statement and the statements which are there in the loop if I want to execute I can write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line then I can write the i value is provide the concatenation and print the value which is there in the variable i then i can write end loop and then i can write the end and then backslash now you can see we got the output as the i value is 5 4 3 2 1 0 let me display this program using notepad now you can see we have declared the variable called i and then we have written the for loop by providing the for keyword and the variable in and then you are reversing so from 5 to 0 you want to print so i will write 0 dot dot 5 loop and what are the statements you want to execute inside the for loop you are providing here and at the end you are writing the end loop statement and then you are providing the end so this is the way we can use the basic loop for loop and while loop in plsql if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day